Howdy folks, and today in No Man's Sky we're going to be basically hunting for crashed ships. We're going to use the new Exomech Minotaur, its scanning feature that allows you to scan directly for crashed ships. And uh, basically see if we can find some really cool crashed ships on here, uh, which is Londinium, the capital of the UAS. It's, uh, we're currently at New Cardiff, which is the tower just by the portal over there. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we can find some cool crashed ships. This is like a really perfect little place for testing this kind of thing. Um, just in case, which I don't know, just in case the, the economy strength of the system, the classification of the system counts. This is a blue system. It's got a single planet in it. This is actually, it's not a lush, although it looks like it. It's a chromatic blue biome planet, so it hasn't got the star bulb. Um, also, its economy strength is uh, high, so yeah, this is a good little place to test. I may as well bring my exomech onto here because they could be quite key. Can't damage the ground here either. Oh, that is badass. Yeah. Right, dude. This is my beastly red and purple one. Went far more classic on my, uh, on my main. So yeah, essentially, I'm just going to get in my Minotaur, summon it wherever, because I can just bring my uh, freighter into the system and then just summon it anywhere, because I have built the uh, room in the freighter for summoning x crafts, which is pretty sweet. So we go to the scanner here, move along to scan for distress signals. By the way, if you're interested in the Minotaur and the best build and stuff, this is my build for it. Um, this is my example one, which I built for the Mega Guide for Minotaurs, which I released Monday. So uh, you can find that in the top right now in a card. You can find it linked in the pinned comment, description, and at the end of the video. Yeah, I'm, I'm plastering it everywhere because it's a really good video and you should definitely see it. Now, where's the first one? Like, where's the first one bought up? Oh, Crash Freighter. Okay, we don't really care about Crash Freighter. Can we just roll through these we can oh that's fantastic okay so we don't have to go to the location to get a new one that is a distress beacon which is a crash ship hopefully it won't be one which already has someone on i can't help but get a uh, big old view of the tower there oh my ship's up there well that's an issue well how far is that away yeah i'm flying there i'm not on there. i'm not going there in this that would take forever we need efficiency here so i'm going to do this for about an hour and see what we get. See if we can find an S class of something, because that would be super sweet. See with the crest side, bruh. First one, what will it be? Probably a shuttle. Let's hope not, because shuttles are bleh. Although, if it's an S class shuttle, it's still worth scrapping. Ooh. Oh, it really wants to be coy, doesn't it? It's not showing us until we've landed. Oh, not a shuttle fighter. Oh, look at that lag. To be fair, by the way, you'll probably see more lag on this planet than most, just because it's got quite a few paces on. This is PC normal. I think PS4 normal is even worse. Um, it is a capital of the UAS, you know. Right, so what is this? C-Class, ah, that's a shame. C-Class fighter, the mother of freedom. Ooh, number two is right near the ocean. I like it. And number two is also a fighter. Okay. I believe this is actually a Viking system. No, no, it's Corvax. That's silly of me. So what class is this bad boy? C class again. It's a shame. It does. It also doesn't look great, to be fair. Some might like it, but you know. There is a what I would consider a very nice looking hauler in this place. Sword isn't a fan of it, but I think it looks really nice. It's a th back thrusters he doesn't like. But I hope, I'm hoping we'll find one. Because uh, as far as I know, anyway, I'm pretty sure the crash ships in the system are defined. The models are basically from the system pool. So the ones that you'll see, the 21 different models you'll see in a system uh, that you can see at the station and trading posts are also the ones used for crash ships. Obviously it doesn't work that way when it comes to living ships, but they're a whole different bag. And if you want to learn about all that stuff, well, there's videos for that too. Also linked everywhere all over this video because, yeah, they're useful and you should definitely check them out. Moving on! It would seem it's a good idea to remember exactly how far that former one was, uh, the one you just come to from the other one, because basically this one was 58 minutes and something seconds from the one we just came from, and it looks like it's trying to send us back to the same one, so I'll scan again see if we can get a different one. And we did. Cool, cool. So yeah, if you start getting sent back to the same ones, definitely move to a different part of the planet. 
Okay, that one's closer. Excellent. So this is good. That's 26 minutes. So we'll just have to remember not to go to one that's 26 minutes away from the one we're going to now. Obviously, it's not foolproof. You could get sent to the first one from the third one, and you wouldn't really know. But uh, it, in that case, move to a different part of the planet so that you are just getting sent to the same place all the time. Okay, what's this looking like? Number three. Another fighter. It's the same one as the uh, same fighter as the first one. Oh bloody hell, lag. But it won't be the first one. It'll be a different class. Hopefully, it could still be C class, of course. Um, oh, okay. This is one of those unfortunate ones which we can't gather. Essentially, there is a life form who the ship belongs to, and he will want help with fixing it. So I'm just gonna do that anyway because I just find it fun. Traveler ship is dangerous. Life form. The Corvax, presumably the pilot of this nearby ship, observes their vessel from a wary distance. They oscillate awkwardly, apparently conflicted between a desire to approach the ship and fear for their safety. Soft alarm sounds from the entity's Hattari. Oh, from the entity Hattari, that's not something he has on him. Uh, but they give their nerves approval. Right, what's up with your ship, good buddy? Mechanic Zane, at your service. The ship's hull appears intact, but it is evident that something is very wrong. The vessels rattles ominously, and an unhealthy clicking sound echoes around the launch thrusters. Repair ship. Locate the, struck the source of the clicking sound, then gingerly reach into a re repair hatch to attend to the volatile component. I am momentarily blinded by a discharge of light and heat. Pain flashes throughout my body, excruciating for a moment, and then abruptly gone. The explosion does not seem to have done any permanent damage, and ship is now repaired. Sweet. Just took a wee bit of damage, and now he probably give me some uh, nanites or something. And Teotiri seems thankful to see me alive. The blast that merely singed me would no doubt have proven fatal to their electronic shell. They thank me, deftly repairing the damage to their suit before setting off. Oh, to my suit? Oh, ain't it? What? So, that's it? I hope there's something more. Fixing the damage that was caused by fixing your ship is not good enough, bruh. And now he's gone? What a cheeky sod. Well, there's at least there's this. I should be doing this at each one to a get a few nanites. And potentially an S-class module. Dem nanites, man. Dem nanites. Right, so, next one. Number four, coming up. See, you definitely need to remember the distance from the last one. This is 27. So, yeah. I... <laughs> I could, that could, he's close enough to definitely be the other one we just came from. Cheeky sucks. I didn't go. Sometimes you just have to scan a few times and it'll flip to the next one. On permadeath and survival, the scan load time is particularly painful for this. Okay, this one doesn't want to change, so I'm going to fly to about a quarter of the way around the planet and then uh, try, try, try again. Huzzah! Jets are... Can't help myself. Now, let's see what happens when I take off. <laughs> Kaboosh! Ah, oh, it just stayed there. Of course it did. Why would I think anything different would happen? Okay, I've now tried a few different places. The first, well, the third one, uh, when it sent us back to the second one, did not change. Uh, even when I went to quarter the planet, it would not give me a new one. Then I reloaded the game, uh, which made the waypoint disappear and they wouldn't give me a waypoint at all. I went to this location and it's only given me a crashed ship. And, oh, wrong one. And now it isn't giving me, isn't changing it. So I'd love to know what exactly causes these things to be different. Oh, my ship's over there, isn't it? Sherba. Definitely easier to control this, to turn it in midair. Like using the, uh, Mixture of the look and the uh, strafe keys. Definitely the way to go. Right, so this isn't giving me many good results. So I think using that scanner, it might be best to change far more often. So I'm going to go to the anomaly and then go to a different planet and just keep switching essentially. Not sure how good of a system this is though for purely farming ships if I have to keep changing planet every like three crash sites. Now, a better one it would probably be using the living ship. So, 
by this, um, explain it in the obtaining living ships uh, video. Um, it's actually been quite successful, which is pretty sweet. Essentially, the way living ships work, you the living ship is tied to the crash site. So if you, when you're rolling living ships via hatching an egg, you can essentially just keep getting locations of crash sites, and then go back to check what normal ships are there when there aren't living ships there. So each crash site has a living ship variant as well as a normal ship. So if you have if you're not hatching an egg and it hasn't sent you to that specific crash site, you'll see a normal ship, not the living ship. So uh, we might look into that in a future video, but I just want to see if this is still a viable thing. So it's certainly showing us crash sites. Oh, come on, I'm not that close. You Sassage. Let's go to Georgia system. That's a pretty beautiful friggin' system, if I do say so myself. First planet of the Georgia system is Serenity Valley, which is a beautiful red grass lush. And uh, yeah, it is the anniversary planet for the UAS. This is the one year planet of base by Z Hunter. Also had I did start construction on a monument base because like the general theme to this planet is monuments just to celebrate the anniversary one year of the Union of Allied Systems. But uh, because I didn't finish a build, haven't made a video solely for it. <laughs> Classic Zane. This isn't given one at all. I wonder if this is something that needs a full quit the desktop reload of the game to refresh. Oh no, here we go. Finally, we got one. Okay, so fourth one, here we come. Oh, not this one. This one. Oh, well, that's uncomfortable. I'm in a very strange view from my ship. <laughs> Should still be able to fly there, but. Well, this one's really close to where we were. This is so uncomfortable to fly in. Quite the bug. Oh, it's a hauler. It's a medium or small hauler. Probably small, actually. Looking at that face. Just, would you look at it? And what have we got? C class. Ew. Ew. Well, that's just disgusting. By the way, a little tip for anyone who's uh, worried about the damage that summoning a mech uh, causes to the planet. That grass will not regrow if you leave it like that. So, what you need to do to fix this, this is own, you only need to redo this if it's in an area where you're going to see it, so next to a base or something. This is kind of like a separate terrain manipulation. This may go over time, but it, if it is separate, then it could take you doing several thousand Titanfalls in order for that to uh, fix. So, just a quick tip to fix it. Just terrain manipulate this area all around, just make sure you got the full area of where it landed. Then go to your restore function and uh, restore all the land. This will not bring the grass back right away, don't worry, but uh, that's normal. So just restore all the land so it's exactly how it should be, only missing grass. Um, and then when you next load in, when you reload uh, the game, uh, the grass will be returned and the area will be as it should be. Also, this guy, who does he think he is? I'm going to take his soul, Animus Beam. You bought this on yourself and I have your fragmented Quali. Or Quelia. That's right, little T-Rex boosh. What, what? Now we're going to scan. <laughs> Enough with the silly myth. Ah, crash freighter, girl. I don't want that. I want a crash ship, don't you know? This is turning out to be far more work than it's worth. Again, purely if all you're doing is hunting crash ships. Seems this is not the quickest way at all. And the fact that it doesn't, it can often take multiple scans to change it, it's really annoying. I've been changing my location between a lot of scans just because that has seemed to have helped uh, seemed to have helped in some cases. Okay, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be doing an error of this. This is mind numbing. <laughs> so let's move to another friggin' planet and uh, try there then. Crikey. This one's just giving me more freighters. Very annoying, very, very annoying. I mean, if you want the freighters too, this is a really good thing. 
The frame doesn't want the frame, he just wants the ship. Well, I give up on this planet as well, let's try another. Serenity Bali really is a beautiful planet, just from on the land and from space. It looks like a friggin' marble. It's actually Golden Gek who uh, originally discovered this system and planet, and uh, basically offered it in uh, for use with the UAS, so uh, it kind of fit this perfectly. Let's try. There's another beautiful planet in the system of the Lush. It's ringed, and there it is. This beautiful Dukang is, uh, yeah, it's another beautiful Lush planet. It's beautiful, but it's also really dangerous as far as weather goes. Do, do gang, do gang, miss. Look at the beautiful, the beautiful birds. Oh, they're they're so pretty, though they are. No, let's scare the crap out of them by carving in a good old exo macaroni. Crap! Ow! Are you rough? A gentle mech. Oh. Well, that's not good. Nope. Not getting even another crash ship now. Uh, I give up. This is probably the worst showing of this planet because these are just bare rocks. There's beautiful grass and trees on land. Um, <laughs> but the ring showing there in the distance is quite stunning. Also, with these beautiful birds. Hello there. Pretty, pretty pesky birds. So yes, thank you for watching, folks. I think this is one of those videos where Zane shows you, yes, third person, I know. Zane shows you what not to do and essentially saves you time by wasting his. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I think next time we'll actually have a look at some of the ones I've recorded for Living Ships. And yes, by the way, database is still being worked on. It's a frigging huge project. project. And uh, I wish I could focus purely on it just to get it done. It would be done already if I could do that. But in doing that, the channel would perish pretty much because I, I can't not upload things. <laughs> and uh, of course, it would also probably slightly destroy my mind in a sense, just working on that nonstop, um, however freeing it would be. Also, for Less M6, which I've started doing with Golgek on the second channel, Zane's Arcade, you should check it out if you're interested. We've uh, now done two streams, uh, co-op, play, and we'll be streaming every Tuesday from now on with Four Less M6 Wastelanders. Uh, essentially levelling and doing the main story and just having fun in it. It's pretty good. It's, in my opinion, of course, there's going to be... A, it's a controversial topic, it would seem, this one. But yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll link the uh, channel in the pinned comment so you can check it out. And uh, thanks for joining me. Look, keep an eye out for this next one where we'll actually be just going straight to pre-found crash sites where I first found living ships, but we'll look at the normal ships that are there. And I did a load in Londinium and hopefully might even find that horror. So yeah, thanks for watching folks and have an amazing day. A shudaza to you. Oh yeah, Patreon, YouTube memberships, Teespring store, Discord, website, what, what, pin comment.